dear Noah R. Gutman, thank you for choosing to participate in our beta test of Teller. Here at Teller Laboratories, we strive to create a better way for people to communicate, and your experience with Teller will help us toward that goal. In this package, you will find this letter, one Teller pill, a photograph of the fellow beta tester that you will be going on a blind date with. You are to meet her today, June 21st, 2020, at 3 o'clock p.m. at the following location. Prospect Park, 9th Street Entrance, at 9th Street and Prospect Park West, Brooklyn, New York, 11215. Please swallow the teller pill with water at least one hour before meeting her. Once you are within the boundaries of the park and are within 10 feet of each other, the teller, the teller nano cells should automatically sync and become operational and will remain operational within the boundaries of the park for four hours. Please remain in the park on your date for those entire four hours. That's about it. We hope you have a pleasant time, and above all else, be yourself. Sincerely, all of us at Teller Laboratories. Hey, whoa, that's weird. Hey, yeah, oh my god, wow. I'm sorry I was late. That's fine, no worries. Wow, this is so weird. I know. I can't believe it works. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like it feels like the future right now. Like we're in the future right now. The present feels like the future, you know? Totally. So weird. Do you want to walk around? Yeah, sure. Cool. Mute date. Here we go. Here we go. So yeah, it's like a marketing company kind of. Basically, we like make videos and do social media and stuff for brands. And I do graphic design there. I do like graphics for videos and make memes and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, I like it for the most part. Everyone's pretty chill there. The pay isn't great, but it's fine. How about you? What do you do? I do stand up and like odd jobs on the side, like little things or whatever, but mostly just stand up. Cool. Do you do it around the city? Yeah, and like out of town sometimes too. I've awesome. done it like upstate and in Canada awesome. and a couple other places here and there. So, what's like, how would you describe your comedy? I guess like jokes. Jokes? That came out wrong. A comedian that tells jokes. That's very unique. Yeah. No, I mean like like one-liners. Do you know what one-liners are? Yes, I know what one-liners are. Some people don't. I didn't mean it like I thought you were stupid or anything. Oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't even thinking that, but now I guess I have to. No, I mean like... Uh. I'm teasing. So you're a one-liner comedian? Yeah. Yes. Does the audience ever get sick of your one line? <laughs> oh man, that's good. I like that. That's funny. Thank you. 
Maybe I'll become a comedian with two lines and I'll put you out of business. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, that guy with that one line all the time? Screw that guy. This lady's got two lines. Yeah, she's got a whole other line. Yeah, she's twice as good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This park's cool. Yeah. So how did you hear about Teller? Uh, well, I got, like, an email or whatever, and, like, I thought it was spam or fake or something, and then I searched Teller, and I went to their website, and it seemed interesting and real, apparently, so I went back to the email, and I clicked the link in it, and, it, and I did the questionnaire, and I got picked. Same. Word. It's funny, it's like, all this, like, it already feels really natural to me. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's weird. It's like, better almost. I don't know. It's, it's like typing, but faster. It's like typing in the air really fast, but like, with your brain and without text, you know? Yeah, totally. I don't know. I'd use it. Not all the time, but like, I could see myself using it. Yeah, me too. I mean, it'll probably be crazy expensive or something, so I probably wouldn't even be able to afford it. Yeah, it'll probably be only super rich people that'll be able to afford it and use it. But then, like, I guess years down the line, everyone will have it, like cell phones. Yeah, like, it just seems new and, like, it'll be expensive right now, but then one day it'll just be real common. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to, like, find a guy with a cart or something and get something to eat? Yeah, sure. Cool. I mean, I wish we could eat at, like, a restaurant or something. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks that we have to stay in the park. Yeah, it's like we're grounded or something. Yeah. Yeah. Please stay within the boundaries of the park for the entire four hours. Thank you. That was weird. Yeah. Did you know it could do that? No. I guess they're listening to whatever we're saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Like, they're doing their test or whatever. They never really said they'd be listening in on us, though, right? I don't remember them saying they would be. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really read the fine print or anything. I didn't either. I don't know. It seems like everything listens to everything these days. Yeah. I guess, like, don't say your passwords or anything. I mean, yeah, I was gonna. But now, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a good thing to do on a first date, I think. Say your passwords. Yeah, making out, that's like third date. But sharing of passwords, first date, definitely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you for helping me explain what I wanted to the guy. You're very good at, like, pantomiming and pointing at stuff. Thanks. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't realize we wouldn't be able to, like, speak with our mouths while this was going on. What if it never comes back? Oh, man, that would suck. You'd have to, like, become a mime or something. <laughs> yeah, I would. Now, I almost wish we'd be rendered mute forever just so I could see your mime career. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'd have a better career as a mime. I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. Anything is possible. It's true. I wonder why they didn't give this to, like, actual mute people to try out instead. I know, right? Like, this technology is totally being wasted on us boring normal people that have been talking our whole lives. Yeah, exactly. We should, like, puke up our pills and go give them to some people who could actually use them. <laughs> yeah, totally. For your own safety, Please do not at any time attempt to remove your Teller nanocells, which are currently circulating through your bloodstream. Only a Teller authorized doctor is able to perform such a procedure. I was joking. Ha, busted. Shut up, I was obviously joking. This thing is so f***ing dumb. Whoa. Holy sh What the f***? Wow. Is this seriously what the future is going to be like? Everyone's curses are just going to be bleeped out all the time? That's crazy. Yeah, I really don't like that. That's way too creepy future for me. Yeah. 
yo, if y'all are listening right now, don't do that. Take that out, because that's not going to fly. People are not going to like that. Profanity settings modified. Please test and confirm modification. Um, fuck. Shit. Ass. Cock. Profanity Cut. settings modification confirmed. That's better. Yeah, that's good. That was funny. You were all fucked ass shit cock and your face was all serious. I was just saying my password. <laughs> oh man, that was great. That was such a good callback. Thank you. You know, you're really funny. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. I haven't decided if you are yet. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're not like doing any jokes or anything. I want to hear your jokes. I'm eating. That's no excuse. We've got these things in us. I know, that's the joke. Well, I want to hear a real joke. Like a stand-up joke. Okay, when we stand up, I'll do that same joke again. You're no fun. All right, I'll tell you one of my actual stand-up jokes when we stand up. Just tell me one now. I don't like doing my jokes sitting down. I tried to set like that once, and it just didn't really work. Fine, but when we get up, you better actually tell one. I will, I promise. Actually, I know this perfect spot in this park for you to do a stand-up joke. Where? I'm not telling. Let's just eat. Oh man, this is gonna be perfect. This is really awkward. But it's perfect! People over there are looking at me. So? They can't hear us. I almost wish they could. I feel like they're waiting for me to do something, but when I do do something, it's not gonna look like I'm doing anything. And they're just gonna still be staring at me like this, waiting for me to do something. It's awkward. Who cares? Just do a joke. Can I just come down and do one? No! Do a joke! Alright. Um... Joke! 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 All joke! Alright, alright, alright. Here goes. Jews are interesting. Jews love Chinese food. Jews love Chinese food so much that they're willing to overlook the fact that the Chinese checkers game board looks like a Star of David with a bunch of bullet holes in it. I'm surprised the Palestinians don't use the Chinese checkers game board as their flag. That wasn't a one-liner. Yeah, I do longer stuff too, I guess. Do a one-liner. Alright, um... I think my cable box might be Jewish, because whatever I DVR, it cuts the end off. That's funny. Circumcision joke. I got it. Feel free to laugh at any of these. I said it was funny. I know, but like, laughter is good too. If I was at a comedy club, I would have laughed. Can I come down now? That's all. Ow. Ow? Nothing. My stomach just cramped or something. Ow, that one was bad. Are you okay? I'm fine. I think I just need to lie down. Ow. Hold on, I'm coming down. Is it getting any better? Not really. I'll be fine though. I think it's probably just because I hadn't eaten for a while and then I ate. This happens to me sometimes when I do that. You sure it wasn't the pretzel or something? Like a bad pretzel? Can pretzels be bad? I don't know. I mean, I guess anything can be bad. Do you feel nauseous? Nah, it's just like sharp stabs in my abdomen. Did you eat any knives today? <laughs> no, it hurts when I laugh. Sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry this is happening. It's annoying. What's wrong? The teller thing isn't working? Try to speak from your mouth. You can't use either? Um, if you're hearing this right now, there's something wrong with Noah's thing. He can hear me, but he can't talk to me. It is normal functionality to not be able to talk with one's mouth during the beta test. Right, I mean, I know that. I mean that he can't use the telepathy thing, it's broken or something. Noah R. Gutman has been temporarily suspended from Teller for engaging in hate speech. 
His suspension will continue for approximately 29 more minutes. What? What are you talking about? Ow! It is the policy of Teller to police any speech which attacks on the basis of religion, race, orientation, disability, or gender. He didn't do any of that. Wait, the Chinese checkers thing? That wasn't hate speech. Ah. Decisions on hate speech are final and are not allowed to be appealed. Would you like to appeal your own punishment? What? You are allowed to appeal the punishment you are currently receiving for engaging in bullying. Would you like to appeal it? Bullying? What bullying? You are currently experiencing physical discomfort as punishment for the emotional discomfort caused to Noah R. Gutman by your humiliation of him. What? That's crazy. I didn't humiliate you, right? I didn't humiliate him. He's fine. Your appeal has been denied. What? Our records show that... As a result of your forcing of Noah R. Gutman to perform for you in an uncomfortable setting and your subsequent lack of laughter, Noah R. Gutman experienced significant activity in his pregenual anterior cingulate cortex, the area of the brain associated with humiliation. Your physical pain will continue for 22 more minutes. You have no further appeals. What the fuck? We should just leave, right? Like, this is crazy. Fuck this shit, right? Please do not continue to threaten abandonment of the beta test. Doing so may result in additional time added to physical discomfort, increased severity of physical discomfort, or other penalties. Ugh. This is so fucking stupid. This is the worst fucking product ever. What the fuck? I can't wait till this is over and I can give it one star. You know what? Fuck this shit. We're going. Let's go. Warning. Due to persistent threats of abandonment of the beta test, boundary lock has now been activated. You and your date have now been rendered physically incapable of exiting the boundaries of the beta testing area of Prospect Park until such beta test is over. Attempting to do so before such beta test is over will result in severe physical pain, possibly resulting in death. This warning absolves Teller of any and all responsibility for harm experienced as a result of attempting to leave the beta testing area before such beta Fuck testing you. is over. Fuck this. Alright, fuck. I guess we'll wait until your suspension is over and then we'll put our heads together and we'll figure this out, right? Oh yeah, duh. Type to me and we'll communicate that way. Here, use mine. What the fuck? To prevent any leaking of Teller's intellectual property, your devices have been disabled since the beginning of the beta test. Furthermore, any attempt after the beta test to discuss any portion of the beta test with anyone other than Teller representatives will result in severe fines and possible jail time. Ugh. This is so fucking ridiculous. Talk to you? I don't have any ideas right now. I'm as stumped as you are. I don't know what time it is. I don't have a watch. Oh, you just want me to talk to you to pass the time. Oh, okay. I don't know what to talk about. Talk about me? Like, tell you about me? Alright. Um, okay. I have a sister. I have a mom. My dad is dead. My sister's name is Ada. My mom's name is Penelope. I like scones. Like, a lot. 
olive scones, which sounds like I love scones. I've always liked that. Olive scones, I love scones. Right? Sounds so cool. Oh, you like olive scones too. Cool, yeah. So good, right? Yeah, I love them. Um, I like looking at dogs, but I don't like them in life. Like, I think they're great in image form, but in real life, they kind of scare me. It's like they go too fast. Like, it's like they're in fast motion all the time as compared to cats. Cats always look like they're in normal motion. Dogs always look like fast motion to me. It creeps me out. Um, I like salted popcorn with no butter on it with lemon squeezed on it. Lemon is really good on popcorn. Have you tried it? You gotta try it, it's amazing. This salt cuts out like the harshness of it and it makes the popcorn taste amazing. Trust me, you gotta do it, you'll never go back. Um, what else? I like looking at hockey on TV. I don't know anything about it or anything, but I like its presence. Sometimes I'll just have it on while I'm doing whatever. How long do you think it's been? Try talking. Testing. Sweet. Yay! Yay! Does your stomach still hurt? Wow, I forgot all about my stomach. I guess it doesn't. I don't know when it stopped. I guess the talking took my mind off it. I loved hearing all that. That was awesome. Really? Yeah, I'm like kind of grateful for it happening, kind of. That like, it meant I got to like sit and hear you talk and talk. I don't know, it was great. That's good to hear. I felt like it was probably boring. Not at all. It was awesome. That's good. I'm glad. Like, I don't know, but, like, do you want to just not do anything? What do you mean? Like, do you want to just, like, maybe let's just talk and sit this out instead of, like, trying to figure out how to escape this? I feel like I could talk to you for hours. I had so much I wanted to say while you were talking about stuff you were saying and stuff. I just want to talk and talk together. Aww. I mean, yeah, I guess. But do we have to just sit? No, I mean, we can walk around. I just meant, like, sit it out, like, as an expression. Like, just wait this whole thing out. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. I want to stretch my legs. I'm sick of sitting. Yeah, that's cool. I kind of have to pee. Word, I think there was, like, something back that way. We could walk that direction. Cool. I'm really sorry. I could have sworn I was back this way. What was it that you saw? Was it like a porta potty or like an actual bathroom? A or? building or something. It looked official. Like people would do stuff there and there would be a bathroom there or something. Like a parks department building? Yeah. Ugh. What? Dude, they're not going to let me pee there. They're going to be dicks. You don't know that. I do. No one ever lets me pee places. I have shit pee luck. Well, everyone always lets me pee places, so maybe my good pee luck will cancel out your shit pee luck. I don't know if I'm going to make it there to find out. You're going to pee your pants? Can you just... Can you turn around so I can just go pee over there or something? What if a cop sees you and gives you a ticket? I don't know. I haven't seen anyone around in a while. Have you? I don't think so, but maybe it'll be like when a cartoon looks both ways crossing the street, and there's no cars, and then they step out to cross, and they immediately get hit by a car. Don't scare me about this. Why? Because you'll get too scared and pee your pants. No, because I won't be able to pee. I'll go try and pee, and I'll be thinking about a cop appearing out of nowhere, and I won't be able to pee. Then you don't really need to pee all that bad, then, if you wouldn't be able to. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh? If you're scared to pee, your body will just not pee even if it has to really bad, and then your bladder will just explode or something instead. I don't think your bladder would explode just from that. It can. It's a real thing. 
I don't think so, but agree to disagree. Go pee. Can you look the other way? Yeah. Are you okay? What's wrong? I don't know. What happened? I went to pee and I peed and then my, um, uh, my penis started hurting and then a little drop of blood started dripping out and then when I saw that, my hands got all weak and I guess I fainted. We need to get you to a hospital. Hello, if you can hear us, he needs a doctor. This is an emergency. For your safety, Noah R. Gutman has been physically punished for indecent exposure. What? He didn't expose himself to me, I didn't see anything. This is bullshit, he had to pee. Thank you for reporting an additional violation. Our nano algorithm was not able to detect the public urination. But as a result of your report, we will be able to administer appropriate further punishment. Uh, Stop! What the fuck? This is insane! You can't do that! Indecent exposure and public urination are sexual offenses. Brief physical pain is minor punishment compared to the lifetime of discomfort he would experience were he to be registered as a sex offender with the state. He's not a sex offender. Not with the state. But with us at Teller, he now is. Rest assured, though, you are safe. He is of no threat to you for the rest of the date, as any physical contact he has with you will result in him experiencing incapacitating physical pain. Ugh. Are you okay? Does it still hurt? Not really. I don't know. I think I'm okay. Let me help you up. Don't touch me. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm sorry. At least I peed. I'm sorry that I couldn't find the place to pee that I saw. I'm such a fucking idiot with where to walk and navigation and stuff. It's okay. Don't cry. I just feel awful. I feel responsible for that happening to you and everything. It's fine. It's not your fault. This thing sucks so fucking much. It definitely does. I'd, uh, I'd pat you on the back to cheer you up if I could. Thanks. Let's not be over here anymore. I don't really feel like standing right next to P. Fair enough. Well, I found the building eventually, at least. It's okay. You tried. Isn't it funny these people have no idea we're talking right now? Or how bad at navigating I am? Does your, uh... Does it still hurt? Oh, no. It was just when it was happening that it hurt. I'm alright. That's good. I didn't know if you were still hurting and were just being tough about it. Sucking it up and a dude about it or whatever ah uh, yeah no if I was still in pain you'd definitely know I'm kind of a baby I don't know 
Ah, see, I had pegged you as a man-child, but it turns out you're a man-baby. A man-baby, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I like breasts, so that works. You're a breast man. I guess, yeah. A breast man-baby, rather. Yeah, I like breasts, and I cry a lot, so yeah, that works. I'll take that. Do you really cry a lot? I don't know. I mean, I was making a joke. I know, but did you base the joke on your actual life? I don't know, I guess. I mean, sometimes I cry. Everybody cries. That's true. I don't really think about if I do or don't cry a lot. I just cry sometimes. I don't know. Do breasts have to be really big or else you're not interested? Wow. Segway. Lack thereof. Sorry. The cry stuff was getting sad. My bad. I've just always been curious. Like, if someone is a breast man, then if a girl doesn't have big breasts, are you just not interested? Um, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a misconception. Like, people think if you're a breast man or an ass man, you're just interested in big breasts or big asses. But, like, I like all breasts. I just like nice breasts of any size and shape. I just like the look of breasts. I don't know. That makes sense. It's just like a preference thing, like Desert Island or whatever. If I had to pick one or the other, I'd choose breasts. As in a body part of a woman to take with you onto a desert island? Are you a serial killer? Ha! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like a suitcase with a pair of chopped off breasts in it. That's brilliant. Thank you. You know, I feel like you could do stand-up if you wanted to. Yeah? Yeah, like you're funny and stuff. You're quick. I feel like it's just coming out because I'm talking to a comedian. Like my brain just wants to think of funny stuff to say. I can't turn it off. Word. Well, you're good. Thanks. I mean... What? You're kidding me. Now they turned you off? Um, you turned Erica off. Why did you turn Erica off? Erica Peters has been temporarily suspended from Teller for engaging in hate speech. Her suspension will continue for approximately 29 more minutes. What hate speech? She didn't say anything hateful or anything. This isn't right. Decisions on hate speech are final and are not allowed to be appealed. Okay, but what did she even say? Our records show that Erica Peters perpetuated a harmful stereotype about women by referring to herself as a bad navigator. That's a stereotype? I didn't even know that was a stereotype. That's stupid. The myth of women as poor navigators has been perpetuated by anecdotal evidence as well as by several scientific studies that have concluded that, on average, women are poor navigators as compared to men, as men outperform them on average when it comes to spatial awareness. These studies are inherently sexist. Wait, I don't understand. The results of the studies did show that women are poor navigators? According to the results of these several reputable studies, women are, on average, poor navigators as compared to men. But the studies are bad studies? Like the results were bad or something because the studies were poorly conducted or sexist or something? Any scientific study, however well conducted, with results that show any difference at all between the sexes, is inherently sexist. I don't understand. You are not understanding despite thorough explanation. The only possible reason for your continued lack of understanding despite thorough explanation is that you are sexist and biased due to said explanation coming from a woman. As punishment for your gender bias, you will be muted for the next 30 minutes. Your ad-free trial period of Teller has now lapsed. Please enjoy the following ads, which have been tailored to you both based on keywords said during your use of Teller. Insurance covered breast pumps. Find out if you qualify for free breast pumps. You may already qualify for free breast pumps with no out-of-pocket costs through your insurance. Apply today. Say live chat to connect with a live chat representative who will help determine if you qualify for free breast pumps. Many makes, many models, medical grade pumps, hands-free pumps, discreet pumps, Bluetooth pumps, double pumps. Looking for the best memes? Our library of over 50 trillion memes will satisfy your every desire. And we're growing every day. Funny memes, sad memes, political memes, 
sexy memes, brainy memes, you name it, we have it. And with our new app, we're in the palm of your hand. Knife swallowing is an art. I can teach you that art. There are so many videos of me you wouldn't believe. I will walk you through every inch of the knife, down my throat, down your throat too soon. In minutes or less, my videos will have you swallowing knives. Say, knife me, and my videos will be on your phone. Say it. Why pee in a toilet? Why do that? Order a free pair of our extra absorbent adult diapers today. Simply say coupon code absorbent. Pay only shipping and handling. Hey there, jokester. Hey there, funny man. Want to tell some jokes to some women? Want to hear women giggle and guffaw at your jokes, whatever they are? Lovely ladies just like me are eagerly waiting to hear your jokes. Why settle for likes and comments when you can hear actual, audible female pleasure? Say the words, give me a laughing woman now, and we'll connect you to a lovely woman who can't wait to laugh for you. Only 99 cents per ha. We are the place for pretzels. We have lots of pretzels. We will feed you pretzels. Come on down to the place for pretzels. We are the place for pretzels. You will enjoy our pretzels. Are you bored? No, not bored. Bored! I'm asking if you play board games. Would you like to play board games with me? Millions of indie board games. All sorts of titles. Did I mention I wear glasses? Would you like to see me without glasses? Customize me however you want. Millions of combinations, even my nipples. Say the words, email me right now and I will email you and we will be friends and we will play board games and you will never be bored again. That time I did mean the word bored. Popcorn is good food. There are many things good about popcorn. It's tasty, it's lightweight, it popped in order to exist. Try popcorn today. Say the word popcorn and we'll drone a free sample of popcorn directly to your face. Pop, pop. Restaurants, don't you want them? Don't you love the taste of a restaurant dish on a restaurant table? Find the best restaurants through us. Is it time <laughs> you went to a restaurant? Finally! Yeah. Wow. Say the that actually didn't even feel that long. And we will help you yeah, satisfy. it went by quick, kind of. How Are fucking lame are these ads, the by the way? Our yeah, they're the really bad. For you. Like, are we supposed to just talk like this with them just going on like this in the background? So good, I guess. Tell to everyone. So good, I wish we could just turn them off or something. People are not going to like this. Like, this thing is practically unusable like this. Definitely. Ads can be disabled through a one-time fee, followed by micropayments. Oh, um, okay. What's the fee? The one-time fee is $10.99 per user. You can each save 10% on that if you both sign up for ad-free teller. Why settle for likes That's not that bad. When you can hear actual yeah. Female pleasure. What are the micropayments? The micropayments are minutely payments that range from one cent to ten cents, depending on time of day. Minutely? As in, by the minute. So just using this for like an hour will cost like, what, like six bucks or something? Depending on time of day. Millions of indie board Why depending on time of day? Of During Did peak advertising hours, you minutely like payments can cost up to 10 cents. Customize me however Let's just do it. I don't know what time it is, but this date is probably over soon anyway. It probably won't cost nipples. as much. Say the words email okay. me right now and I will email you. All right, and we will we're going to do it. And we will play board games. Please state your credit you card number followed again. by expiration That's date and I CVV number. But won't we hear each other's information? Why pee in, a toilet? in the event Why of any that? credit card fraud, simply contact your credit card, card company immediately today. and they simply will help sort it out. Okay, but I feel like this is kind of weird. For decades and decades, people read their credit card information over the phone with others present. 
Only in recent decades, where people have switched to primarily entering their credit card information through a computer, has reading credit card information aloud become something that people are uncomfortable with. Okay, but it's still weird. We also accept debit cards. Please state your debit card number, followed by expiration, CVV, and PIN. That's worse. I can teach you that. Currently, credit card and debit card are the only methods of payment we accept. Do you want to do it? I don't know. Let's just do it. Fuck it, I trust you. Do you trust me? Yeah. So let's do it. Alright. Alright, we're gonna do it. Please state your credit card number, followed by expiration date and CVV number. We have lots of Pretzels. Ugh, listen to that. Listen to the silence. So worth it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not actual silence, I guess. I mean, I hear stuff, but... You know what I mean, it's comparatively silent, you know? Silent compared to the fucking ads. Right, yeah. God, those were dumb. So, when are you gonna start using my credit card? <laughs> I mean, I don't really even remember any of the numbers. I don't remember yours either. I guess we're both safe then. That's boring. Yeah, it'd be way cooler if, like, we stole each other's identities or something. It might even help your career. Me doing your gigs with a fake mustache or something. Since I'm funnier than you. Yeah, I've never made a meme before. I don't know if I'd be good at it. I'd probably get you fired. Aw, you remembered what I do. You only said it like an hour or two or however long it's been ago. Yeah, but people don't usually pay attention. You'd be surprised. Really? Yeah. I mean, guys will forget a girl's name halfway into a date and stuff. It's bad out there. Wow. Do you know what that green stuff is? It looks like a ton of little seed pods or something. Is it algae? I don't know. Could be. Isn't algae good for you? One of my roommates has it, like, powdered. She makes smoothies with it. I don't know. If that were the same stuff, I feel like people would be, like, coming here with garbage bags and stealing it and selling it. True. I don't know, though. I think it might be the same. If it is, I'm sure there's, like, different strains of it or something. This is probably not a good strain. Strains like how there's strains of weed? Yeah. But all weed is good, all the different strains are good, they're just different. Maybe this is still good, it's just different. Maybe. I'll pay you to lick it. Uh, prostitution is illegal, ma'am. The algae! Nah, I'm not licking that. How much will you pay me, then? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Why? Because I don't want you to get sick, and I wouldn't derive any amusement or anything from seeing you do it. Well, how about you just pay me so I don't feel weird about it? I'm gonna lick it, that's gonna happen, but if you pay me, then I won't feel like such a weirdo for doing it. Please don't lick it. That's the first time I've ever heard a guy say that. I really think you'll probably get sick. I'm not gonna lick it. Good. Thank you. I am going to touch it, though. Don't. You should wash your hands. Why? Because maybe you'll touch your eye or something and get sick. Or maybe it's under your fingernail now and it's getting into you through your nail bed or something. Oh my god, you are such a little worrier. I'm glad I did it so I could learn that about you. Do whatever you want. It's just green stuff. I know. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> just kidding. Very funny. Let's go somewhere else. This is boring. Are you mad at me? No. 
Are you not interested in me as a human being anymore? I'm interested in you as a human being. But not as, like, someone you might want to see again? I don't know. That's cool. That's fine. I guess I shouldn't have touched that algae stuff. I didn't realize it'd be such a deal breaker or red flag or whatever. It's not that. I know, I get it. You're just not interested in me. It doesn't need an explanation. It just is what it is. I am interested in you. But not enough to ever see me again for the rest of our lives. Got it. I didn't say that. I just said I don't know. All right. I'm going to sound like a weird, clingy person for saying this, which I'm not, but... I feel like you and I are going to, like, kind of always know each other. Even if we never date or are never close friends or anything, like, we're always going to remember this day. And we shared this day together, so we're always going to know each other because who else experienced this weird day but us? Nobody will ever understand it that we tell about it except each other. Any attempt after the beta test to discuss any portion of the beta test with anyone other than teller representatives will result in severe fines and possible jail time. I get it. I won't. He won't. It's fine. Anyone. Do you know what I mean? Like, we shared this. This crazy experience. So, we're kind of stuck knowing each other for life, you know? So, even if we never go on a second date or a second hangout or whatever, let's stay in touch, okay? Okay. All right, cool. I'm really bad at this. What do you mean? I don't know. Like, I'm trying to play it cool. I don't know why I'm doing this. Doing what? Being aloof or whatever. I think you're cool. Like, I'm drawn to you, and, like, I don't know what to say around you. I've been trying not to, like, show that too much. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to be around you. I just, like, constantly don't want to be a way where you're going to not like me or something. You don't have to worry about any of that. I'm drawn to you, too. Really? Yeah, I don't even know what it is. I can't explain it. Like, I just want to know you and keep knowing you and be around you. Me too. Really? Of course, yeah. That's great, then. Yeah. You know, earlier when I found out we couldn't touch and then I cried, like... Part of the crying, I think, was because I had been thinking about how nice it would be to, like, at some point during all of this, just... Kiss you out of nowhere and then, like, maybe make out with you against a tree or whatever. Really? Yeah, and, like, when I realized that wouldn't be able to happen for such a, like, bullshit dumb reason, it made me so sad. Wow. Is it weird that I wanted to kiss you that early on and us knowing each other? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, it sounds good to me. Have you wanted to kiss me, too? Yeah. I mean, you're really pretty. Whenever you've said something funny or weird or witty, I've wanted to kiss you. Really? Yeah. You think I'm funny and witty? Yeah. But you, like, do that stuff. You write and perform. I would have figured you, like, only think other people who do that stuff are funny and witty. No way. Most of them suck. I really like your comedy, by the way. I'm really sorry I didn't laugh. I don't know why I didn't. I thought you'd respect me more if I didn't or something. I don't know. It kind of turned me on that you didn't laugh. Really? Yeah, it was hot. It gave me, like, butterflies, but in a good way. That's cute. Yeah. Cute. That's cute. That's what? Cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's What's going on? Cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. 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 Um, cute. Something's cute, going cute, on with her cute, thing. What's cute, going on? Cute. 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 We are sorry. Cute, An unknown cute, pathogen is interacting cute, negatively cute, with the nanocells cute, within Erica Peters. We will cute, attempt to fix the problem shortly. Please cute, remain calm and get her to a safe cute, area. Cute. Let's. 
A safe area? Cute. That's cute. Please get her That's off the bridge. If she jumps off the bridge, we are cute. not liable. Cute. Sit with cute. her under a tree on solid cute. ground. Cute. Keep her cute. away from heights. Cute. That is all for now. Cute. We will That's attempt cute. to fix the problem That's shortly. Cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Cute, I'm sure they're cute, working on cute, it right now. Cute, I'm sure cute, it'll be fixed cute, soon. Cute, 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 cute. You're not cute, in any pain or anything, right? Cute, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. Just feels weird. Cute, 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 cute. That sucks. Cute, I'm sorry. Cute, 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 cute. That's cute. That's What's that? Cute, that's cute. That's Cute. Oh that's shit. Cute. That's cute. Um, cute. something's going cute. on with her that's nose. Cute. White that's stuff is coming out. Cute. She needs help. Cute. We are sorry. Cute. An cute. unknown pathogen is cute. interacting cute. negatively cute. with the nanocells within cute. Erica Peters. Cute. We will cute. attempt to fix the problem cute. shortly. Cute. Please remain cute. calm. Cute. I think I have a tissue. Cute. That's cute. That's cute. Oh cute. shit. Ah. Ah. Uh. Cute. Cute. Tissue. Tissue. Cute. Tissue. Cute. Tissue.
Good news. You were cured and are now fine. You will regain consciousness in the office of our CEO, Harriet Miller, where you will discuss your teller experience with her. We look forward to your feedback. We need to talk. I will give you a teller pill. Only will last as long as you are in the building so that we can talk. All right, let's talk. I cut these with nano-caffeine, so you should be feeling a bit more alert right about now. Your product sucks. You've made it very clear that you feel that way. It's fucking bullshit. How is it bullshit? Because it sucks dicks for a living. How does it suck dicks for a living? Do you also feel that way? I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. Before we go any further, are you both feeling fully better since what happened with the algae? I knew it was algae. I feel all right. Yeah, I'm okay, I think. It's hard to know what the nanocells will try and fight. We're still working out the kinks with that. What about everything else? All the other shit? What do you mean? All the other kinks that need working out, like the fact that the whole entire product sucks. Can you be specific with what you think needs work? Literally everything, besides I guess the technology, which is impressive, but everything else is horrible. If you put this to market, people are going to hate this. Your whole company is going to tank. I don't know how many millions of dollars this company is worth, but all that money is going to be gone. You're all going to go broke. I'm flattered by your concern for my financial well-being. That's very considerate of you. I mean, I don't actually care if you lose money or not. I was just trying to get you to listen to me. I figured you'd care about the idea of you losing money, and then that way you'd actually start listening to me about how bad this thing is. I am listening to you. I'm listening very intently to you. That's why I want you to be more specific. Tell me something specific that you didn't like. Okay, well, there's like a million things I could say that I didn't like, but like, how about the hate speech thing? It said he said hate speech. That his joke was hate speech, but it wasn't. So whatever the thing is that detects that sort of thing is clearly broken. Is that important to you? That that feature not be broken? That it work well? Yeah, that's what I just said. How much does this particular feature being broken bother you? A lot. 
If we leave it the way it is, when Teller is released, would you take to social media to express your distaste for the broken feature? Yeah, definitely. And discuss your distaste with friends privately? Yeah. And read and circulate blog posts and articles that share your same views about the broken feature? Yeah, sure. That's great to hear. How about you, Noah? Anything you didn't like? Specifically, anything that would irk you enough to devote hours and hours of your life to thinking about how much you didn't like it and getting others to do the same? I don't understand. You sound like you want this thing to be broken as hell just so people talk about it. Are you familiar with the ancient Japanese aesthetic of wabi-sabi? No. Perhaps you'll look into it one day and then begin to understand why we and countless other companies do what we do. Moving on, though. Can you tell me how you two feel about each other? Why can't you just tell me what it means right now? Can you tell me how you feel about Erica? Um, she's cool. She's really nice. Just cool. Just nice. You two were pretty gaga for each other, I would say. Sparks flew. Remember what happened on the bridge? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, we hit it off. I think we hit it off. I like her. So the blind date was a success then, would you say? I mean, yeah. That part of it. The her part. Would you also say that the blind date was a success? I mean, he's great. Your product is shit, but he's great. So do you both feel, then, that Teller is great for blind dates? What? No! Hell no! Teller still sucks. I'd never recommend anyone use it ever. It's terrible. But it brought you two together. Yeah, and that, like, we were randomly chosen for this beta test thing and randomly got to meet or whatever. Like, I'll give it that, but that's it. You don't think that the negative experience you had with Teller helped in any way to create the feelings you have for one another? No. I mean, we probably bonded a little in that we both hated Teller, but that's not the same thing as, like, liking each other. How is it not the same thing? Because that's different. Like, us just bonding and banding together against this stupid thing, that has nothing to do with, like, us being attracted to each other or caring for each other. How can you be so certain of that? Because I know my own brain. I know my own heart. I know how I feel. What if I were to tell you that we have a 100% success rate? That every single blind date we've arranged has resulted in sparks flying and attraction and mutual interest. That's great for you all, but that doesn't matter to me. I can't be controlled like that. I know how I feel, and I know that how I feel is real, and I'm sure he knows that how he feels is real. This is genuine. I don't know about all those other people or whatever, but this is real. What if I were to tell you that at least one person from every single blind date has sat here where you were sitting and said to me what you just said? I don't care. Where's your data? You don't even have any data to show me to back up what you're saying. You're just saying things. I've heard that too. Every time. You know, it never ceases to amaze me the disbelief people have that they can be so malleable. And subsequently... So predictable. I really don't care. You think you know me, but you really don't. Oh, I almost forgot. You will both be reimbursed for the money you spent for the ad-free version. You can expect a check in the mail within six to eight weeks. Why can't you just cut us a check right now? Because I'd like to keep your dislike of me and my company at a maximum. That's very important to me. You're such a bitch. And you're such a helpful person. More so than you know. Are we done here? Can we go now? You can leave, if you'd like. I'd like to talk to Noah a little bit longer, though. You know, you could really be helping people. You have such an opportunity to truly help people with this technology. Like people with disabilities and all that. 
And yet you're wasting that opportunity just so you can be horrible and huge and worth a billion dollars like all sorts of other huge shitty companies that suck. It's fucking sick. Why are the two mutually exclusive? What? Why is it that I can only either help people or make Teller a billion dollar huge shitty company? Because the time spent making it a billion dollar huge shitty company gets in the way. It's a waste of focus and time and energy that could be better spent elsewhere. Let's talk about better spent. Do you have any idea how much Teller would be worth if we went the kind of route you'd approve of? Have you run the numbers? Have you run them countless times and had countless people run the numbers? Of course I haven't. A slice of pie from a pie a billion feet in circumference is much larger than an entire pie a couple million feet in circumference. So? So, my way, the way that you detest, will enable me to help more people than your way could ever dream of. I don't care. I know you don't. That's why it's good that I'm in the position I'm in and you're not. Because I'm doing the right thing, the smart thing, whereas you do the wrong and stupid one. I'll wait for you outside. Outside where? The room. Once you leave this room, you will have to leave the building. I'll wait for you in front of the building, then. There's no loitering allowed in front of the building. You'll have to wait somewhere across the street. I'll wait there, then. I'll see you later. Thank you for everything. You were wonderfully predictable. Fuck you. Hello, Noah. Hi. I'm speaking to you alone to spare you any embarrassment in front of Erica for what I'm about to say to you. Although, saying what I'm about to say to you would probably endear you to her even more, given that she detests me and is primed to disagree with me vehemently on pretty much anything. But, you're already pretty far with her, and will probably get laid tonight if you play your cards right. So, the embarrassment, I think would be unnecessary. Do you understand? Uh, sure. Good. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What does the word beta mean to you? It means like when you test something before it's done. Correct. But colloquially... What does it mean to you as just a casual, colloquial term? A label? Well, I mean, it's like sometimes people use it to describe like a guy who isn't alpha or whatever. Guy or girl, yes. But what does that mean specifically? Can you describe someone who is beta? Um, I guess someone who's weak or something. Weak, yes. Unassertive, meek. The list goes on. Are you aware that you are beta? Um, like, I guess I can be sometimes, but, like, I wouldn't define myself as that. I'm going to be frank with you. The beta tests we conduct are literally beta tests. We put people through a horrible time with our product in order to see whether they will behave in an alpha way or a beta way. Erica behaved in an alpha way. You behaved in a beta way. Are you following? So wait, so like this all isn't real? This is all just like a thing to see that? Oh, Teller is very real. Teller is immensely real. And by the end of this year, We will be the first company in history to have a monopoly on an entire sense. Telepathy. And the ramifications of that are beyond vast. 
beyond what you could ever in a million years conceive of. And so, we are conducting countless tests before we roll Teller out. Tons of viable data was collected during your date with Erica, not just whether you were Alpha or Beta, or she was Alpha or Beta. But I will say, the Alpha or Beta data is of special importance. Do you have any idea why? No. Because Teller will assuredly bring about a dystopia, and a dystopia needs alphas. Alphas to bring the world back out from the dystopia. One might say it's a controlled dystopia that we are causing, since we know it will occur and are preparing for it. And part of that preparation entails figuring out exactly how many alphas there are in the world and how many betas. The right number of alphas in the world can get the world back out from any dystopia. Stop me if I'm confusing you. Are you getting this? I mean, I think so. It's a lot to wrap your head around. And even though it may seem like I'm telling you a lot, I'm leaving out a ton that I can't really talk about. Just trust me that this dystopia we are bringing about is necessary and a good thing for mankind in the long run. Growing pains, so to speak. But anyway, all this brings me to a very important question I have for you. Do you want to be an alpha or a beta? Um, I mean, alpha? These pills will make you alpha. A single pill will eradicate any shred of beta within you. You will become as alpha as you could ever possibly become. No side effects. Nothing to worry about. Will you take it? What's in it? I can't tell you that. All I can tell you is that if you take it, you will leave here an alpha, and you will be a part of what will bring the world out of the dystopia that we are about to cause. What do you say? Um... Okay. Come to me. How do you feel? I don't know. You don't feel different at all? Not really. Maybe a little. I don't know. You shouldn't feel different. It was a sugar pill. There was nothing in it. Thank you for choosing to take it. By doing so, you have just confirmed our determination of you as Beta. Only a Beta would choose the pill. We're done here. You can go now. That was a trick. Scientists don't trick. We test. That will be all. You can go now. Wait, is the dystopia stuff real? Absolutely. Most definitely. And you will certainly perish during it, which is good because it means your beta genes will not be passed down to any offspring. By the way, please use a condom with Erica. She has good, solid alpha genes, and they should mix with the genes of another alpha. Fuck you. By all means, enjoy yourself with her, and enjoy the rest of your life. What little love it you have to look forward to. Just please be the end of your gene line. Fuck you. Thank you for your time. We are done here. If you do not leave this room within the next five seconds... You will be violently escorted out of the building by the security guards down the Fuck hall. Fuck you. Ah. 
How'd it go? Fuck that fucking cunt. What the fuck was up with her? Let's get the fuck out of here. Where do you want to go? We're going to my place. <laughs>